Guys, Missouri Mike here. Getting with you on another hunt. I just dug this button. I don't think it's real old, but it's my first find here at this site. This is an old homestead, and what they're doing there, uh, building an overpass here by the highway. You can hear the traffic going by. Thing is, this has grown up real hard and heavy. They've dozed the old house in there, and uh, I don't know, you know, just how much we're gonna find here. I'm with a friend of mine today, Harry. I don't know where he's at, but uh, a lot of tall grass here, so we're gonna see what we can find. It's right up again the highway here, and there's a lot of road noise. It's hot out too. It's seven o'clock and. It's 90, phone says 92, so, and it's a cooker right now, so we'll see what we can find here. And like I say, the grass may be a difficult issue here, so we'll get on and see what, what's out here. Well, guys, I gotta take this off my bucket list. It's a lawnmower blade. My first one ever. Wow how cool that is first lawnmower blade that ground's hard anyway go on to the next one filling it up with gas and I leaned over yeah but on the wrong side of it and I leaned over to put the pump in it wow. I only touched it it didn't take much guys it's a still hot one out here <clears throat> just dug this I believe it's a door, well, it's a key thing, you can see, like a skeleton key. Uh, it was in this wad of trash here. Haven't found anything very good yet. May not, <clears throat> but it's cooling off a little bit, so. See what else we can find here. Just keeping it real now. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm hunting a different, different site now. This is an older house. Uh, it's been abandoned for a while. And uh, I've been here for a little bit now. I haven't dug much of anything, but I just hit my first wheat. So there it is right there. It's probably a new one. It wasn't very deep. It was only about an inch deep. Underneath this uh, pine tree. <clears throat> so I believe this is a city-owned house here. And it's probably going to be condemned, but anyway, uh, I didn't do any good at the highway spot. It was worked over pretty good. Had too much high grass. I couldn't hit nothing there. I did get a 1926 wheat, but anyway, let's see what else we can find here. I just dug this old car. It's an old wagon too. It's a big one. Big wagon. Bigger than most. I'll have to clean it up and see what it looks like. Anyway, I'll go on to the next one. It's getting late here. It's about 8.30. Probably another 20-30 minutes of hunting. It's starting to sprinkle again though, so I don't know how much longer I'll be out here. Alright, see if I can find something else. On to the next one. Alright guys, I'm hunting a new home site here and I just got permission and I just hit a first wheat here so it's pretty corroded I'll have to look it up later but anyway that's my first wheat here so got a lot more places to look so I'll get back with you whenever I find something else hey guys this popped two wheats here come out of the same hole I don't know the age of them yet, but we'll have to do a cleanup. But anyway, there's two. And anyway, that's three for this hole here. I'm hunting this old house. I just talked to the old guy that lived here. He's 82 years old. He said he'd been here since he was seven. So hopefully there's some good silver here. We'll see. Not a big yard. The backyard may be bigger, but we'll see what we can find. On to the next one. All right, guys, here's my fourth wheat. This one's got some good tone to it. 
Looks green. Give me a good one. And I got something else in the hole too. I just gotta dig it back out. See what that is here. Be right back with you. There's my fifth weed of the afternoon. I don't think it's a real old one. It's kind of brown looking. All right, let's see if we can find some silver here. On to the next one there, guys, on to the next one. I'm digging here, it's like my seventh wheat so far. And it's gonna be a clean one. It's got some green to it. I'll have to do a clean up on it and see what it is, but it's a, don't know how old it is. But it's my seventh one in this yard. So, let's see if I can find something good. Some silver. Holy, on to the next one now. Got my first toy plane of the day. First toy car of any kind today. And it looks like it's a pretty neat one, really. It's pretty heavy. I don't know, it's, it's really different. I like this one. It's going to be cool on the collection wall. Looks like a maybe a marine jet. Probably Vietnam era type make. Not super old, but it's about what it is. It's got looks like stainless steel wheels on it. It's a pretty high dollar jet at one time. It's got a glass top on it. Pretty sweet. All right, now I'm proud of that one. It's in good shape too. All right. It's got looks like bombs on it and everything. Missiles ready to shoot. Just knock the dirt off of it and be ready to go. Yeah. Just dug this plastic button. It's kind of cool. Can't see what what was underneath the plastic, but it's not that old. Kind of neat though. Let's see what else we can find here. Right here is where I'm digging, and I'm digging in some moved dirt, I do believe, that's been moved. It's a lot higher than the sidewalk. So I need to get to where the dirt's not been moved here. See what else I can find. Well, wheat number eight for the day. That one's got some green, real, like green, real green. I'll we'll have to clean it up and see what it is. We got it on the sidewalk here, about six inches down. I can find something else. It's wheat number nine, but no silver. Mosquitoes are eating me up, but I want to keep going for a while. Let's see if I can find something really, really good here before I quit. It's getting towards my last dig of the night here. Got a cool little core. Something different. All right, Let's see if I can find something else here. Hey guys, Missouri Mike here. Just doing a wrap up on my hunt from, eh, it's about the end of June here. <clears throat> I start off with the junk. I got a wagon. Yeah, it's a wagon pulling wagon there. Full lead paint and a whole bit. And I got this, this is lead. I don't know for sure what it is. It's some sort of valve of some kind. It's real heavy. It's pretty neat. It's lead. Got an O-ring. And some junk here. Pin top. Ink pin. Um, got this hook. It's real sharp on one edge here like this. So I'm not sure what it's for. Shotgun shell casing. Piece of lead. This is kind of neat. <clears throat> I found this by the highway site. Didn't find any coins there, but I think I found one memorial there. But this is an old door. Skeleton key. That's pretty neat. That was at the highway site. I didn't do very good there at all. It was real hot that day too. A wedge and I found an airplane this is a neat one marine airplane 
probably 70 era. Not too bad a shape. And it's got a root hanging off of it. That's kind of cool. It's got the missiles on it. That was neat. I like those kind of things. An older little pull car here. It's a pretty old thing. Front wheels are gone, broken in half. Probably got hit by a lawnmower. Flung across the yard. A badge that's too deteriorated to tell what it is. A couple keys and a couple little things I should have thrown away. So I'm going to start off with down at the bottom here on my clad stuff. I've got nine dimes. All new. Five quarters, of course they're all new. Two nickels that are new. Got 18 zinc pennies. And I got 35 regular memorials all lined up here. Some of the better ones are 62, 59D, another 62, a 59, a 64, a 59, a 64, 61, a 62, a 64. There's a 64 and a 64. Those are some of the better regular memorials. Those are fairly old. Those are pushing, you know, 50 years old or better on those. Then I got the standard wheat pennies, 1940. It's a pretty nice coin. 44, 56, 41, 41, 40S, that's neat, 1948 D, and 1948 then I got a few oldies here, drop down to right in here, 1926, and that's a really nice one. I, I think I'll clean up better, but that's a 26 plane. Gotta like that one. 1918S. And that was a pretty neat one, too. Pretty slick, but I got the date off of it. It's an 18S. And then a 1925. Uh, playing on this one So those are all fairly old wheats those three Pushing 75 years or better on those three And that 1918 of course is getting pushing 95 years or 97 years old now, so It's a fairly good coin Anyway, that's what I hunted now. I hunted about it was a Saturday from about 2.30, 3 o'clock till about 7, 30, 8 o'clock at night. So I hunted pretty much 6, 8 hours. Let's see. Yeah, a good 6 hours of hunting here. But I got several coins to show for it. Didn't find that silver one though. I really wanted the silver out of this hole. I found enough wheats that there should have been a silver, but I didn't find it. So evidently it wasn't there or I didn't missed it or whatever but wasn't in this spot anyway not a bad bad time of hunting got probably two three dollars in clad money there and some decent you know stranger stuff and jet I like to get on that jet and fly but can't do that all right well anyway that's it for this hunt. So until the next time I see you, next time get out there and do some hunting. This is Mike. Now I'm out.